Hallelujah. Sunday school. Sunday school. Sunday school is marching on. Sunday school is marching on. S U N D A Y S E A double L. Sunday school is marching on. Sunday school. Sunday school is marching on. Sunday school is marching on. Learn your lesson, learn it well. Then you can go and tell. Sunday school is marching on. S U N T A Y S T A W O L. Sunday school is marching on. Yes, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. God, we give you glory this morning, oh God. Oh, God, I thank you. I decrease, oh, God, that you may increase. Not I, Lord, that speak, but you speak through me, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Let our hearts be receptive, oh, God, to receive your word on today, oh, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Yes, We're in Ruth, the first chapter. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Ruth, the first chapter. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God, you're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. Amen. Amen. You're worthy. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Luke, the first chapter, beginning at the first verse. Now it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled that there was a famine in the land, and a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, went to dwell in the country of Moab, he and his wife and two sons. The name of the man was Amalek. The name of his wife was Naomi, and the names of his two sons were Mashalan and Shalem, Ezraites, Ezraites of Bethlehem of Judah. And they went to the country of Moab and remained there. Then Amalek, Naomi's husband, died, and she was left in two, two sons. Now they took wives of the women of Moab. The name of the, name of the one was Ophah, and the name of the other was Ruth. Yes. And they dwelt there about ten years. Then both Mashlin and Shilin also died. To the woman survived her two sons and her husband. Then she arose with her daughter-in-law that she might return from the country of Moab. For she had heard in the country of Moab that the Lord had visited his people by giving them bread. Therefore she went out from the place where she was and were two daughter-in-laws with her and they went on the way to return to the land of Judah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We we are talking about preparing to return back to yes. the house of bread. Yes, to the house of bread. Preparing to return back, back to, to the, the house, house of, bread. of bread. Yes, Lord. Preparing to return back to the house of bread. Bread. Hallelujah. We began to talk about on last week and so forth. Is God leading the way or are you leading the way? Uh -huh. We began to talk about this last week. Um, and we began to talk about Amalek because in the first verse, it said, Now it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled that there was a famine in the land, and a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, went to dwell in the country of Moab. He took his family, yes. and he said, now God already put a boundary line. God said, now, you all don't leave from here. You don't go and connect yourself with the motorbikes. You don't go to Moab. Uh, you, don't, you don't leave this place. But they left because it was a famine. But God mm -hmm. didn't tell them to leave. Amen. There wasn't a king in place. They didn't hear from the king of kings. They, they didn't hear from him. It wasn't no king in place to give instruction, to give direction. And a lot of times, that's how we get as people of God. We get impatient when we don't hear God say anything. Yeah. We ask God, yeah. but we don't hear God say anything, so we bust a move. Mm -hmm. And God never told us to bust a move. So when we bust a move, we end up going into a place a battle, a fight that you're going to have to fight, that you ain't got God's protection anymore yeah. in this battle. Uh -huh. So they end up going to Moab. Yeah. And he took his whole family. God yeah. never told Amalek to go. Yeah. He never told Amalek to go. Yes, but Amalek said, we get ready to go. He got his wife and his two sons. Mm -hmm. Amalek named meaning my God is king. Yeah. Now, if your God is king, then you know your God is king, and you have 
have a name like that. But then you still don't trust your God like that. Mm -hmm. Even though your God ain't speaking. Sometimes we won't hear from God, but God still want us to trust him. Yeah. Still want us to know that he's with us because yeah. he said he'll never leave us nor forsake us. So instead of Amalek, Amalek trusting God, he had a lack of faith. Yeah. He had a lack of doubt where he began to leave that safe place. That house of bread, house he of end bread. up leaving, and that's how a lot yeah. of people get. Yeah. They get to a point where I got it, it ain't happening soon enough. Uh -huh. God ain't doing it quick enough, yeah. and then we end up getting out that safe place, that house yeah. of bread, where we run away from it. Mm -hmm. yes, we Lord. run away from it. Come He's having now. a name. My God is King. Come on now. My God is King. He said, Naomi, come on. Yes. My two sons, come on. We getting ready to go. This is a boundary line that you weren't even supposed to to go over. But instead, we going anyway because it's a famine here. We were down here in the good in Moab. Yeah. Moab, they eating good. Everything looking good in Moab. And when you look in the world, that's the way we looking at it. Everything look good. Everything sound good mm -hmm. until you get over there because we think the grass is green on the other side, but you don't know they don't die that grass. Mm -hmm. You don't know when you get over in that grass, you're going to step into yeah. the So they end up going to Moab. Yes, Lord. They stepped on over into Moab. Yes, they did. Yes, Lord. Why would you leave this place, the house of bread, the house of breakthrough and deliverance, yes. where, where revelation is, you leave this safe place to go to a place where you're uncovered, where ain't nothing around you safe. Yes. You're not even safe anymore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But they end up going. They went over to Moab. Mm. And that's what a lot of people do. And they run into Moab because it looked good. It sound good. Yeah. Everything in Moab going on, but you just don't know. It's wickedness in Moab. Amen. It's depression in Moab. Yeah. It's despair in Moab, but everything looked good. There's no peace in Moab. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. There's death mm -hmm. in Moab. Yeah. There's death in Moab. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. But he left, running from the family. You can't run from your problems. You can't run because you go through a storm where I give up on God so easy. Come on now. But I connect Come on. to this so quickly. Come on now. I connect to wickedness so quickly. Yes. But I give up on God because God ain't did it yet. Amen. God ain't said anything. Yes. Are you going to be still and know be that he is God? Yes. Are you going to be still and know when he's not saying nothing? Are you going to be still and know that he is God? Yes. Are you going to be still and see the salvation of the Lord mm -hmm. where he will come to your rescue? Yes. Yes, Lord. They didn't be still. They, they had to bust a move. They had to get on the run. We got to get away from this place. Yes, Lord. We got to get away from this place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, man. The famine in the land, and a certain name, a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, house of bread. Beth, Bethlehem, Judah means house of bread. Went to dwell in the country of Moab. Yeah. He and his wife and two sons. See, he took the whole family. Yeah. That's the reason why you have to be careful. Who are you allowing? Who are you leading that you may be leading them into danger, into destruction, into depression, into despair? Yeah. Who is coming behind you? Who are you leading out yeah. to a place that God never told you to go? Mm -hmm. What are you getting entangled in and God never told you to get entangled in? Yes, are, 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 are you not reminded of if I do this, they'll do this? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. If I don't do this, Hallelujah. they won't do this. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Lord. Hallelujah. He took the whole family. The whole family. We got to be careful when we're doing that. Mm -hmm. We got to be careful with our walk because we got to hear God. If God say do it, then do it. Mm -hmm. If you ain't heard nothing from God, wait on God. Yes. Wait on his word. Yes. Hallelujah. Wait on his word. Yes. Hallelujah. The name of the man was Amalek. We already went over his name. My God is King. The name of his wife was Naomi. Naomi name means pleasant. Mm -hmm. And the name of his two sons were Mashlin. Mm -hmm. Mashlin, this was the trip out part about it. His name means infirmity, illness, yeah. sickness. This is why you got to be cautious. What are you naming your children? Yeah. Yes, Lord. What are you calling them that, that may 
they bring a curse upon them. Yeah. They name him Mashlin, mm -hmm. infirmity, illness, sickness. Amen. You name your son this, well, my God is king. Amen. Shiloh named me finish, yeah. wasting away. Why would you name your child this? Yeah. Why would you? And see, it's not all. It's it's what we it's what we call our children. When Dick and Cunningham was saying, "Stop calling them kids," because if you call them kids, you saying that they are goat and they'll act like a goat. Amen. A goat is very wild and would wow. do anything. Amen. When you say, oh, you act like your daddy and you know how their daddy act, guess what? That's the way they would act. Amen. Oh, I can't stand you. You telling them I can't stand you. Amen. And they get to the point where they grow up and they can't stand nobody. Amen. Because we got to make sure what name are we putting yes. on our children. Yes. Yes. What are we calling you so dumb? You calling them dumb? Amen. That's the reason why they can't get through. That's the reason why. That's just sick. Oh. You yeah. sick. You just sick. Amen. And we and that's been so popular of people saying, you sick, you yes. sick. Don't you yeah. know that you're cursing them with Amen. your tongue? Amen. Because you're telling them, even if you're saying it jokingly, you study saying you sick. Amen. No, baby, I'm not sick. I'm healed. I'm delivered. Yes. I'm home. Yes. Yes. Because you got to turn that curse word around to a blessed word. Amen. Amen. Yes, no, Lord. I'm no longer sick. I'm healed. I'm delivered. I'm set free. Yes. It's a joke you sick no 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 you have to stop yourself because now i got to change the way i speak life yeah. and death is in the tongue yeah. Yeah. so now we gotta we gotta change our way we gotta change our improper way to a proper way yeah. our, a proper way of speaking a proper way of living yes lord we got to change all that up hallelujah hey yes, mm. thank you jesus we got to change that when we begin to see that person or see ourselves as God see us. Amen. Who God say we are. Amen. We're the head and not the tail. Yeah. We're above and not beneath. Hallelujah. We're freshly and wonderfully made. Yes, we're blessed in our going in and we're blessed in our coming out. Yeah. We're sure our bodies are blessed. Hallelujah. Yes, Those Lord. are not just words. That's something when you grab hold on to yeah. it. Those words have power. Yeah. Hallelujah. Those words have power. Yes. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. But they left Bethlehem of Judah mm -hmm. and they went to the country of Moab and remained there. They remained Amen. there. They went to Moab. Ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Lord. Moab, the son of Lot by incest with his daughter. The place of despair. Yeah. The place of wickedness. Uh -huh. The place of pride. The place of haughtiness. The place that is a counterfeit because they want to be so much like God, but it can't be. Yeah. It puts up, that's the reason why it looked it so good, but it wasn't of God. Yeah. God said, don't step over the boundary line, uh -huh. but instead we go there and we dwell there in the land of Moab. Well, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Ha, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there. When you see things in your own way in the way that you feel like that's right uh -huh. to you see they begin to see things right in their own eyes their own, eyes. Their own way mm -hmm. see we got to change that of no I'm not going to see this as how I want to see he said in Proverbs 14 and 12 there is a way that seemed right to a man yeah. but the end of the end is end is it's the way of death. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. a way that seems right to a man, but in its end, it's death. Yeah. When you see right in your own eyes and in your own way, there is a time where it's going to come where it's going to be death. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because you got to change the way, no, I'm not going to bust a move unless God tell me to bust a move. Yeah. I'm not going to do this unless God tell me to yes, do God this. Me. We got to get stopped to stop getting caught up in ourselves of thinking I can do it. I got the money to do it and I'm going to go on and do it. Yeah. No, you're going to find yourself in despair. You're going to find yourself. He said, after this is death. Mm -hmm. At the end of this is death. At the end of it. Hallelujah. Yes. Get uh, Judges 21 and 5. I feel God's prison. So, hallelujah, Jesus. Trying to come. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, and Judges. There was no king in Israel. Uh, Judges 21 and 25. Okay. Hallelujah. 
They thought they were they thought they were right in their own eyes. And in those days, mm -hmm. there was no king in Israel. Mm -hmm. Every man did that which was right in, in his, his own eyes. In his own eyes. Mm -hmm. See, we got to wait on the king of kings. Yes. We got to line ourselves with the word of God. We got to make sure. And we coming right now in a time like, you don't say, cut it off, head. Boy, I see cut it off, head. I see cut it off, head. Thank you, Lord. Thank yes, you, Jesus. Lord. Yes, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Where Hallelujah. people are gonna have to run because they're gonna need to hear a word from the king. Yes. They're gonna have to hear a word from God to change their situation, yes. to transform them, to bring their family into deliverance. Yes. They're gonna run to the house of God. They're yes. gonna run to the house of bread because they're gonna need to hear a word. Yes. They're gonna need to hear a word for direction and instruction. Yes, what must I do? What must I do in this time? What must I do? What must I go? And yes. God, the king will speak. Oh, God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. A king, the king will speak. He will give direction and he will give an instruction. Because they're going to get tired of doing things their own way because they're going to find themselves in a pit. Yeah. They're going to find themselves in despair. They're going to find themselves in depression. They're going to find themselves making like they're losing their mind. Mm -hmm. So I only want one word from the king will change everything. One word from the king, word from the king will change everything. And God will begin to speak and change that situation. But God is looking for a people that's going to be receptive to his word. That's going to be willing to receive and obey his word. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord. They, 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 it seemed right in their own eyes. Mm -hmm. See, there's a way that seemed right to a man, but at the end, there's death. Yeah. So we got to say, God, I, not my way, not what I want to do, God, but it's what you want to do. Yeah. It's your will to be done in me, God. Hallelujah. It's a lot of things that I want to do, yeah. but I don't want to do it without God. Hallelujah. I don't want to go without God. God, yeah. I need you to go before me. God, I need you to direct me. Yeah. I need you to me, God, on what you want me to do. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, mm. Lord. Just because we go through things, just because we go through trials, uh -huh. just because we have storms, don't mean that you can say, I'm gone. Oh, no. I'm gone. I was talking to a young lady the other night. I said, don't give up on God so easy. Yes. I said, just like you don't want to give up on your job, and you don't want to give up on your relationship, don't give up on God yes, so easy. So I'm saying because things not working out in your favor and that God have not answer so quickly, don't give up on God so yes. easy. Yes. You want God to answer you, but you're ready to let him go. Uh -huh. You waiting on God to do something for you, but you're willing to let him go. Yes. God said, if you just give me all of you, I just show you. Yes. I just show you. Hallelujah. I just touch you. And touch you, yes. and I'll touch this situation and change it. Uh -huh. But we got to give God a chance. Give God a chance. We got to give God a chance. Yes. yes, judgment will come, but guess what? God gonna protect His own. Protect God own. gonna cover His own. Yes. But you gotta stay in that place. You gotta stay in the house of bread. You gotta That's stay good. under the protection. Yes. You gotta stay under the blood of Jesus, where you're covered by Him. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. You can't run because everything ain't going your way. Mm -hmm. And that you're going through a few things. Because what we go through, it cannot even compare for what yes. Jesus went through. Yes. So we, we're looking at what we have went through and what is this and all this type of stuff. You can't look at that. Yes. You said this little thing that I'm going through, God is bigger than it. Amen. God is much bigger than it. Yes. See, we look at God as a small God that he can't handle. Amalek ran from it. Because he felt like I ain't heard nothing, God ain't saying nothing, ain't nobody. We we gotta go. But God is bigger than a family. Yes, hallelujah. God is bigger than a family. Yes. God is bigger than sickness and disease. God hallelujah. is bigger. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. you got to see that we serve a big great God. Yes. A big great God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm. Yes. Yes. That's why I say don't get don't get it twisted because Moab look good. Mm -hmm. Everybody's seeing the same thing in Moab. Everything looking good. Yeah. They ride clean. They living good. 
They built up good. They smelling good. They going here. They doing what they want to do. We looking over at Moab because yes, it's better. Yes, yes. They look like they having so much fun. Yes. What type of fun are they having? Wicked fun. Mm -hmm. Because if you call me dressing like a hoochie and going to the club, going yes. to the stages or elevation, you, you say that's fun, but at the end of that is them. The end of that is them. Yeah. Because you go to a club and you seeing them dropping like it's hot and you seeing them elevated down and up, that don't mean anything. Amen. At the end, it's death. Yes, 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 I'd rather for my soul to be my anchored in Jesus. Be anchored in Jesus. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. We yes, gotta Lord. stop looking at what look good. Oh, they doing their own thing. They like they having so much fun. You know, they, they get with this person. Oh, they in a good relationship and the man ain't married them. Yes. Hallelujah. But you started looking at this. Yes, Lord. And you can't get your eyes on what God wants you to have your eyes on. Oh, so Lord. you don't miss who God has for you. Yes. You don't miss what God has for you. Yes, Lord. Get your eyes off other people yes, and what's around you and what's going on and keep your oh, eyes on God. Hallelujah. If they kept their eyes off the famine, they wouldn't have bust the move without Hallelujah. But when you keep your eyes on God, oh, you said, I'm keeping my eyes. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Because I know that my help coming from God. Yes, Lord. So I'm not looking at what's going on around me. Hallelujah. I got my eyes on God. Yes, Lord. I'm trusting God. David said, Your word have I hidden in my heart that I may not sin against you. Yes, Lord. So I'm keeping God's word. I don't care how it sounds or what I go through. I'm calling on God. Yes. I'm calling on God. Because that man can't help me. The woman can't help me. Uh -huh. The job can't help me. Yes. The car and the house can't help me. I need God to help hey. me. Yes, I need God to help me. Yes, God, I need your help. I need your help.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory. Oh, Lord, 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 Jesus. Lord, Lord, Lord. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. It said, then Amalek, Naomi, her husband died. I told you, at the end of it is death yeah. when you do things your own way. Yes. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Then Amalek, Naomi, her husband died. Yeah. And she was left. And her two sons. Hey, the husband gone. The one that left. The one. That's why I say you got to be careful when you leave the wrong way. Because you might be the first one. Hey, you don't know that. Oh, God. Hey, you don't know that. Emma, the one that left. Hey, you don't Naomi's husband died and she was left and her two sons. Now they took wives of the women of Moab. Uh -huh. The name of the one was Ophir, and the name of and the name of the other one was Ruth. Yes. And they dwelt there about ten years. Now, instead of you just over there in the land dwelling, now you are married into the Moab family. Oh my God! Now you are connected. You know, That's the reason why you gotta be covered. careful yes, who Lord. you marry, what you connected to. Yes. What what the hell are those Boy, you don't say? Boy, what you saying I do too? Yeah. When God said don't, when God said don't do, I feel God's power. Yeah. I feel God's presence so strong. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Thank Lord. you, Jesus. Oh God. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yes, Lord. They connected. Uh -huh. They're married. Two of the Moab women. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ooh. and they began to dwell there for ten years. Mm -hmm. The two sons. Remember their name? The one that the roof married. His name was illness, sickness. Uh -huh. Oh, you The one that Oprah married was shot him, finished, wasting away. These are two men that they married. Hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hey, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hey. And then both Maya and Shylan also died. Oh, my God. They died also. I told you, after this, it's death. Yeah. After this, when it seemed right in your own eyes and you do it anyway, at the end of it, it's death. Yes, Lord. The, the, the father died. Now the two sons died. Yes, Lord. So the woman survived her two sons <laughs> and her husband. Then she arose with her two daughter-in-law. Uh -huh. Now all I got with me yes, is the two women, Moab Moabite <laughs> women. Hey, from Moab. Yes. Now I got them with me. My sons are died. Yes. Now I got them with me. Yes. Whew. Yes, Lord. Then she arose with her two daughter-in-law. That she might return she from the country return. of Moab. For she, so she had heard in the country of Moab yes. that the Lord had visited his people by giving them bread. Uh -oh. See, yes. you're going to need a word to bring you out of Moab. Uh -huh. yes, Lord. You're going you to need a word to make you bust a move. You're going to need a word. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank the you. word. Yes. The word came. She heard. She heard. See, somebody got to hear the word. Yeah. They got to hear about what God is doing. I hear it. They got to hear. Yeah. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Yes, Lord. Hey, you know what I'm saying? See, faith come by hearing. By hearing. And by hearing the word of God. Yeah. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hallelujah. But how they going to hear? Yes, Lord. How they going to hear? Uh-huh. Hey, you know what I'm saying? And if nobody speaking nothing, if you're lost, then I would say, yes, Lord. Pastors. Yes, Lord. That you may hear a yeah. word. Oh my God. Yes, my God. Lord. Hallelujah. You got to hear a word. Yeah. See the world, they got to hear a word going on. Uh -huh. Somebody got to speak a word. Mm -hmm. They got to know what's going on over in your ministry. Come on now. They got to know is the word coming forth? Yeah. Is deliverance taking place? Yeah. Is healing taking place? Hallelujah. Is breakthrough being released? Yeah. yeah. Do we hear it? She heard. Yes, Lord. She heard yes, and Lord. began to arise up oh. with her two daughters. Yes. Because she heard. Uh -huh. See, a word will make you get up. Hey. Yes. A word will make you get up. Yes, Lord. A word will make you come hey. out yes. where you can't stay in the same Thank place. You. Yes. Thank you. Yes. There you yes. 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 Yes, yes, Lord. Lord. That word will bring you out. Yes, yes, Lord. Lord. If you allow the word to bring you 
Lord. Yes, Lord. One word from the king. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Lord. Thank you. Lord. And one word from Thank the king. You. Yes, Lord. One word from God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You got to believe. Thank you. Yes, you got to believe it. Yes, Lord. You got to believe it. Yes, Lord. Thank yes, you, Lord. Yes, Lord. I beseech you today uh -huh. to be receptive unto God's word. Oh, my God. Step hard in your heart. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Lord.
I need to get this word to you. Because yeah. this word needs to go deep down inside of you. Yeah. Where it can pull out everything that's not of you. That's yes, not of Lord. God. Out of you. God know what's there. Yes. God know how to pull it out. Yes, Lord. God know how to deliver. Yeah. God know how to heal. When the doctors don't know what to do. Yeah. God knows what to do. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Heal your mind. Uh, God know how to heal your heart. Yeah. You say, Woman of God, how could you say it? Because He healed my mind. Yeah. And He healed my heart. Yeah. That's how I can tell you what God can do. Yes, Lord. And it keeps you to a place of praise. Yes. It keeps you to a place of worship. Yes, Lord. Where you don't want to leave the house of praise. Yeah. You want to stay in the house of praise. Yes. You want to break out and break the yes, So when you don't Thank you. 